thank you. So uh, uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, organizers for for inviting me to speak here. Certainly, it's, uh, it's a great uh, pleasure for me to 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 lecture here uh, for this uh, special conference. And uh, Jim, uh, <laughs> the Professor Bismu uh, has been my friend for many many years, uh, more than twenty years now. So. <coughs> I think last 20 years I have learned a lot uh, from him and uh, we talked a lot about uh, 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 I talked a lot about the mathematics and uh, some of his uh, thoughts inside in the mathematics certainly influenced uh, my uh, work including uh, something I talked uh, in this talk I will mention later and uh, so so anyway it's my pleasure to be here I wish uh, uh, Professor Bismu a happy birthday. So, so and um, today I uh, I'm going to talk about uh, um, a joint work with uh, Zhang Zhenlei. He's uh, <coughs> uh, he's uh, uh, associate professor at the Capital Lamo University in Beijing, and uh, was a former student in a Chen Institute in Nankai. And <coughs> it's very very bright and hard working young young man. <coughs> so um, so uh, so this uh, 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 in the recent years we uh, especially in the last uh, one or two years we have seen uh, quite a lot progress in uh, in Kelly geometry. So so uh, and, and which is uh, one of my favorite topics so far. So so let me start with some basic thing about the Keller things. So, so in this talk, M is uh, a, a, a Keller manifold with a Keller metric. So, so, <coughs> so that means uh, uh, this metric is uh, is locally given by uh, by uh, positive Hermitian positive matrix valued functions, and uh, uh, it's it's convenient to write a metric in terms of this Keller form. So, you write this is a global defined two form, and. Uh, uh, if you just uh, have these conditions, which simply means uh, mean means uh, this uh, this uh, uh, th this metric is a Hermitian metric, so in order to make uh, life simpler, we impose this integrability condition called uh, uh, so say uh, omega is closed. So 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 this condition simply uh, implies locally this uh, so locally this uh, gij can be written as a, a complex hessing of a de uh, of a functions. So so this make a uh, Keller geometry uh, simpler because uh, because uh, I mean is uh, in some sense is uh, you're studying a function instead of a matrix valued functions. Okay, uh, study a scalar function instead of matrix valued functions. So so we say uh, omega is Keller Einstein if it's a Keller. And Einstein, namely the Ricci curvature is constant multiple of uh, omega, so so one can easily scale the metric, do some normalizations. Uh, thank you. So so then uh, uh, we can uh, always assume a lambda is uh, is a minus one zero or one. So so <coughs> so it's a uh, it's Einstein equation in the static case. So here the Rich is below the Rich curvature, which uh, can be defined uh, for for general Riemannian metrics, so which measures the deviation of uh, volume form from uh, from a uh, Euclidean one because of uh, because of uh, uh, space is curved. Okay, so so in this particular case, in the case of Keller metrics, it's uh, very easy to write down. Uh, I mean, there's a nice formula of Rich curvature is given by this. Okay, so this is volume form. You can immediately see. The Rich curvature measures uh, deviation of volume form. So, so from this formula, also says uh, the Rich curvature is actually the Rich curvature is uh, as uh, defined in this way is also a global defined form. So, so, so this Rich omega is actually a closed two form. Closed. Okay. So this actually defining a cohomology class. If an underlying space is uh, is compact, and uh, and uh, 
<coughs> so in terms of that is uh, is is known. So that's uh, uh, this uh, the cohomology class is represented is simply a first chain class or it's a multiple first chain class. So in the fifties, the club is started the study of Keller Einstein matrix on a compact Keller manifold. A necessary condition is M has a definite uh, first chain class because uh, because this represents the first chain class and uh, being a Keller Einstein that means this has to be a constant multiple of a uh, of a uh, of a metric. So that's that means this first first uh, chain class is definite. Okay, by take this as definition. So 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 the existence of Keller Einstein matrix was established by uh, by Oban the Yale independently in seventy six when the first chain class is active. That corresponds to a case when the lambda is uh, is is minus one, okay, and uh, and uh, and uh, and the yaw in the C one m equal to zero case. This is a famous Calabi yaw conjecture. Uh, Calabi conjecture solved by yaw. So, so, so then what left is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, is a positive case. It's a positive case. Okay, there seem to be a. Let me see. Okay, so. So, so in order to, uh, uh, to prove uh, exist to establish the existence of Keller Einstein matrix, uh, there are basically there are two ways. One way is like Yao did, is uh, is use a continuity method. Okay, so you you consider uh, which I will mention later, more later is uh, you consider you have a complex Montrampe equation, and uh, corresponding to a uh, this uh, Einstein equation, and uh, you 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 insert a parameter and. Uh, and uh, start from some equation which is uh, very simple, and then try to establish some uh, prior estimates and try to 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 to, to prove uh, the equation you 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 want has a solution. Okay, so so uh, there's another way which was uh, like used uh, later, is uh, uh, by using a, a parabolic uh, method. It's a, a Rich flow, uh, which was introduced by Hamilton. So that's a general Rich flow. And uh, for any initial metric, there's a unique uh, solution. Okay, Lo there's a local existence. So, so if a G zero is a Keller, so is every G T. So, so this is uh, uh, well known. So in this sense, we can say uh, this uh, Rich flow is uh, is Keller Rich flow. So, so Keller Rich flow is nothing else, just the Rich flow, restrict to a Keller matrix. Okay, it's naturally it's preserved that natural class. So. So then, uh, for convenience, we after scanning and the reparameterization of a time, you can uh, consider the following Keller Rich flow because uh, you don't need you don't have to do that. I do it here because I I want to be more f focused on uh, things I want to talk today. Okay, so so I consider this normalized the flow, and uh, again I make lambda to be minus one zero and one, and. Uh, Omega t is a Keller form of G t, so so I use a Keller form to to denote the Keller metric. Okay, so I I make this uh, convention here. So in 1986, in uh, Hui Dongkao in his thesis proved that if uh, if for if you take initial metric, I remind you you take initial ma Keller metric, if you assume Keller class falls into a falls into is is a multiple first chain class. Then the above Keller Rich flow has a global solution. That means you have a, this parabolic equation has a solution for all the time, for all the time, okay, for all the time. So, so furthermore, he proved if a, if a lambda is minus one or zero, the omega t converge to a, this global solution converge to a Keller Einstein metric on M as t tends to a infinity. So, so this gives a a, a different proof of a, of a Oban Yao theorem and Calabi Yao theorem. I just stated before. So I, I made some remark here. So so here for this particular talk, I put this constraint because this is the uh, only thing I concerned in this talk. But uh, indeed, uh, you for general Keller matrix, you can also run the Keller Rich flow, and uh, and uh, you there are a lot of nice uh, things going on in the last uh, ten years. And uh, is uh, what was uh, particularly nice is uh, this uh, Rich flow in that general case may develop a singularity at a finite time. And uh, and the singularity formation is conjectured to actually corresponds to a, to a, to flips in a in a in a minimum model program. So so in some in this sense we call this the analytic minimum model program. Okay, uh, it's not completely done. There are still uh, some uh, uh, analytic uh, 
and 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 tools to be to be est uh, established. But uh, but at least if you assume the logic from algebraic geometry, and uh, you can you can examine all these finite time singularity formations and so on, all our theorems. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, so. So now we we are converge to this uh, the, the what what uh, the title of my talk uh, claims. So what about limit of this uh, of this uh, global solution? Carl proved when the lambda equal to one. So so in this case, first chain class is positive because I said uh, the, the equation we consider this is a uh, uh, sorry first chain class. Yes, I use other one. So so first chain class is a uh, Lambda of uh, omega zero, so lambda is one now, so that means this is a uh, first chain class is positive. Okay, so so uh, uh, in uh, in other words, this uh, underlying space is called a Keller, uh, is called a fellow manifold. Okay, and uh, and uh, in two dimension called their pestle surfaces. In the three dimensions and uh, fellow uh, classified, uh, uh, all the three complex dimensional manifolds with this condition and with a few exceptions you missed. Okay. So <coughs> so so not every uh, fellow manifold admits a Kellan symmetric. So so from now on we are make this assumption here. Okay. We make assumption here. So 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 there are obstructions. Now there is uh, an obstruction to existence of Kellan symmetrics on the fellow manifold. So, so one abstraction was found in the in the fifties, fifty-seven. It's a an Maschima proved if M admits the Kellan symmetric, then automorphism group has to be reductive. And uh, you do can find uh, examples in which uh, um, in uh, on which uh, uh, for of which uh, the, the automorphism group is not reductive. Okay. So, so more uh, more uh, a better one was found. Uh, by Fataki in the eighty three called Fataki invariant, which I will say a little bit more in the later. Okay. And uh, then the case stability introduced myself in nineteen ninety six and uh, reformulated by Donaldson in a more algebraic way. So so let's see uh, uh, the Fataki invariant. So this uh, it is a character of uh, of uh, the algebra of uh, holomorphic vector fields on M. Okay. So it is defined this way. So you you take uh, omega zero and, uh, and the, the initial any kind of metric with this condition here. Okay, so this time lambda is one now. So so from now on lambda is just one. Okay, so so because this condition and the Ricci curvature is uh, represents a first chain class. So by Hodge theory, this uh, difference of these two closed form is given by d d bar of functions. We call it h zero. And you normalize it. You normalize it. Okay. So then uh, you define x is a holomorphic vector field. X is uh, anything here. So you define this integral. Okay. What Fataki proved is that this is the invariant. Namely, this is independent of a choice of omega zero here. Omega zero here. So so vanishes if uh, if uh, m admits the both chain class. Uh, 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 if uh, admits a Kellan symmetric. Kellan symmetric. It's clear because if uh, if M admits a Kellan symmetric, you can simply choose this omega zero to be Kellan instant. Then H zero is zero, and certain is integral is zero. Okay, integral is zero. So, so, so this gives you a uh, uh, invariant, and you can also check by some direct computations, by some computations based on these invariants. This is actually a character. It's a character. Okay. So, so, so. So Fataki actually also later on realized this uh, invariant can be uh, computed in terms of a residue formula, like a both residue formulas. Okay, so I mean this definition is quite uh, analytic and uh, does not uh, quite see how to does not uh, immediately show you how to compute it. Okay, so and um, but it has the advantage, namely you this last statement. You immediately see a last statement, but to compute it, one can actually reduce the uh, residue formula. So, so also the Fataki one can be uh, generalized to a uh, by independent by Kalabi, uh, Kalabi and Fataki himself to a uh, 
for any kind of manifold, any kind of manifold. So not only for phenol manifold. And uh, and uh, there's also a residue formula, in fact, uh, um, which I proved uh, uh, many years ago. So it was not a difficulty. The only and I s uh, remember this. Uh, I this. Uh, I talked uh, in the early nineties. I talked to uh, a bismo a lot about both chain classes. Then I realized that this uh, photonic iron can be uh, can be in reinterpreted as a as a both chain class of degree for polynomial degree n plus one, and uh, in certain way. Okay, so then you can directly apply the both residue formula to to prove it. And the tech the method to prove it. So. So now case stability is, is closely related to a photonic environment. For that, uh, let me uh, uh, say uh, recall some uh, a classical fact. By Kodaira, since the first chain class is positive, this uh, that means this Km inverse. This is a rotation which is defined to be a wedge of n of a holomorphic tangent bundle. So it's a determinant of a uh, holomorphic tangent bundle of n. Okay. So so K L of course is as usual. It's just uh, K M inverse and tensor L time. Okay. So so Kodaira seems tells you uh, this thing C one M is positive. So this is a uh, this is a uh, ample bundle, ample bundle. So so one if L is infinitely big, it becomes very ample. So we we get embedding. So any basis of this uh, cohomology gives the embedding. Gives the embedding. Okay. So this we can consider M as a subwriting C C C P M C C P N, and uh, and uh, n n plus one is the dimension of this. Okay. So so then for any algebraic subgroup, uh, one time one parameter algebraic subgroup in in uh, this uh, automorphism group of project space. There's a unique limiting cycle, M zero, and M zero may be singular. M zero is singular. Okay, so, so, so in the ninety two, Ding and I proved uh, uh, if M zero uh, actually uh, M zero is normal, then one can associate the generalized Fataki invariant. So basically, what we did is just make sure the Fataki's uh, definition still goes through even space has singularities has singularities. So, so this assumption is not absolutely necessary, but uh, um, uh, but uh, um, it's uh, it's it's it should be good enough. Okay, so <laughs> sufficient. So, so anyway, so so this paper was uh, um, published in uh, in one journal, and uh, I guess I published this. Uh, it's not my first paper in one journal, but uh, I think. Uh, and Bismuth was a handling editor. He made me uh, revise uh, five times. So <laughs> and uh, and uh, actually, it's good in the sense because uh, this paper probably compared to my pr other invention papers probably has a few typos, okay, so or mistakes. So <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, so so this uh, uh, so the upshot here is uh, uh, even M zero is a uh, singular. And uh, you can still define a photonic environment, as we s I said before. So, 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 but the difference here is uh, M zero may be different from M. Okay, so M is original manifold which may not have holomorphic vector field, but M zero does have a holomorphic vector field. Okay, so so that you can define a environment. And X here, so X here is simply uh, the vector field generating this uh, this. Uh, this uh, uh, this uh, one parameter of subgroup here. So, so then we call the M is a uh, is a case stable for air. Air is a fixed for this embedding. If this is a uh, and uh, is a uh, non non-active for for any algebra subgroup one parameter one dimensional algebra subgroup with a normal M zero and uh, it call it holds if and only if M zero is the same as M. Okay, so that's the definition. So, so if M zero is not same as M, this is strictly positive. Strictly positive. Okay. So, so, so M is a is a case stable. If uh, it's a it's a 
is um, if it's a uh, case sta uh, case stable for all the supreme large air so it's not here so so in the nineteen ninety six and so I using this the motivation is to try to prove uh, uh, some uh, folk law conjecture give a counter example to some folk law conjecture that time so so if m is a fellow manifold without convective field then the uh, m admits a uh, k line symmetric only if m is k stable k stable okay so and the converse uh, and so co called uh, yaw tian donaldson conjecture in case of fellow manifolds has been proved uh, recently and uh, in april i was here to give a, a few lectures but <coughs> so 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 we cannot expect uh, so 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 this converse says is a uh, if m is a k stable then there is a k line symmetric then there is a k line symmetric. so so this becomes a if necessary k stability becomes a necessary and sufficient condition for existence of k line symmetric so but however um, this uh, um, k stability maybe i say it be the later okay so so but k stability in general is hard to check it's hard to check because uh, it's a algebraic condition in principle you can check but uh, it's a uh, in practice, if you are give you a manifold, say tell me whether this is case stable or not. Maybe it's a, uh, it's 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 not the best way to just try to check case stability directly. Maybe it's uh, sometimes even even easier to use some uh, other analytic condition con con uh, con criterion to establish the Kline symmetry imply case stability. Okay. So 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 anyway, this uh, kind of uh, thing is. Uh, it's uh, not only happened here, it's also in the for vector bundles, for example. There is a manifold stability for s uh, for for existence of a Hermitian Einstein matrix, but uh, but to check that stability condition is uh, is uh, may not be trivial in, in general. Okay, so so one hope to have some other methods to some other uh, more analytic or differential geometric uh, uh, theorem. Uh, Asserting the uh, existence of uh, canonical matrix on the final manifold, so 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 here I said that one cannot expect omega t. So omega t is this uh, global solution tau established. So maybe I write this here to remind you. So since after quite a few transparencies, so so I have this uh, gen uh, flow. Maybe I. So I have this uh, uh, flow. Let me see it. Okay. So I have this uh, flow, normalized Keller Ricci flow. In this time, it's the Ricci of this. Okay. And the omega zero is some initial metric, and the Keller class of initial metric is the full string class. Okay. So, so the cow proved. Uh, so and there is a omega t solution for all the t positive. Okay. So the the problem now is I want uh, I if uh, uh, by some standard uh, things is uh, if omega t has a solution has a limit, then this limit is supposed to have be a stationary solution, stationary matrix. Okay. So so but uh, because of the previous uh, abstractions, we cannot ge in general we cannot expect uh, the there is a limit. Okay, at least uh, there's a limit on m. So in general, we cannot expect that there's a limit on m. Okay. So the conjecture is the following. So, so it's probably f uh, so m omega t. So m is the uh, initial manifold, and omega t is this solution here. Converge to a generalized uh, shrinking keller ricci soliton in a Chigar form of topology. Okay, so. I I need to explain a little bit about this terminology here. First, so when I say generalize, it's not uh, uh, maybe first you forget about category, uh, uh, shrinking calories something I define later. So first, uh, uh, this space may have a singularities. So this space is simply a compact metric space, which is a smooth outside the closed uh, subset of house of co at least the four. Okay, so. So namely, this may not be a single uh, smooth space, may not be a manifold, it's a, but but the large part of that is a manifold. Okay, and uh, and you can make it better, which I will uh, be, and and 
talk about that uh, more later because uh <coughs> and right now I just put in the rough form. So 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 you can you can have a better regularity for m infinity. And uh, moreover, the omega infinity because in general this is just a metric space on the whole thing, but omega infinity is a smooth Taylor metric on the regular part of this and uh, satisfy this condition. Okay. So this is exactly the shrinking Taylor Ricci Solitan equation. So 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 the shrinking Ricci Solitan means that the Ricci curvature minus the metric is equal to hessing of some function. So right now I, I, I require this hessing of functions to satisfy this actual condition. That means that you actually induce a homomorphic vector field. Or you induce a homomorphic vector field. Okay. So this is uh, so when I say generalized, that simply means uh, because uh, this omega infinity still have some still has some singularity, okay, along a subset of a very high co-dimension. Okay. So it's known this uh, uh, this conjecture actually implies uh, uh, why uh, this uh, Yalti and Donaldson conjecture for final manifold, and uh, because uh, the case stability condition on M assures M infinity in uh, this uh, conjecture coincides with M and G infinity in Kate Einstein. Okay. So 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 this uh, conjecture does not have a it's in some sense better because it's uh, it always has a canonical limit. Okay. Then uh, you use the algebraic condition to to get uh, better canonical metrics. So so <coughs> so let me see a little bit uh, how, how this is uh, um, um, done. So about this conjecture, so I collect uh, first to try to tell you a bit uh, uh, about this uh, what we know about this uh, this uh, Taylor Ricci flow in this case. So so I actually prepared this uh, uh, this uh, transparencies on the weekend, and uh, now I actually realize that it is uh, logically it was not uh, maybe canonically it was not the best uh, presentation, but anyway. So so so. So now, I take back a little bit. I try to tell you a bit about the Keller Ricci flow, okay? And uh, also part part partially tells you why in a Keller in, in a Keller case we can have a solution like a, a result of this type, and it's a much better result, okay? Than uh, that than what we we knew about uh, what we know about the general Ricci flow. So the Keller case. Because this uh, condition I said at the beginning, we can also reduce the scalar equation. So write omega t as omega zero and the plus dt bar functions, and this is uh, possible because uh, if you look at this flow, the cohomology Keller class does not change, and these assumptions. Okay, so 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 then uh, you can reduce this equation to a scalar equation, which is fully nonlinear, but it's a scalar equation. The scalar flow, okay, and we lo we have a lot of results on that. And the H zero is determined on omega zero, which actually was defined in the in the definition of the Taki invariant. Okay. So to solve the scalar equation, we need to establish a prior estimate of phi t as zero. In fact, by using a maximum principle, one can reduce the establishing of uh, uh, reducing to uh, establishing a C zero estimate of phi zero. Okay, and because all other things. Using a Calabi estimate and the uh, Oban Yao estimate for second derivatives, so one can actually eventually reduce uh, only C0 estimate for that. And uh, in, uh, if a lambda is, uh, if, uh, if uh, there's lambda here is uh, zero or negative, and the maximum principle guarantee you are, uh, at least when the lambda is negative, maximum principle will also give you a C0 estimate. That's why you can reprove uh, Oban Yao theorem. Okay. So but uh, but such an estimate does not hold for general final manifolds because I know if because if you have a such an estimate you 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 can prove M has a Keller Einstein matrix okay and uh, I I t I told you a moment ago there there were obstructions and uh, so there's no Keller Einstein matrix so we cannot uh, prove this so so uh, but uh, but in last ten years we have uh, uh, there there have been a lot of uh, progress. And uh, uh, most, uh, uh, for example, uh, notably is this Perman's uh, uh, famous paper, and uh, in that he actually also, I mean, come as a uh, as a as some uh, 
byproduct of his uh, um, um, tech new techniques he introduced, he he can prove a fullness. Okay, so so <laughs> so omega t has a uniform bounded scalar quotient diameter. So omega t is uh, here, okay, as a measure, and uh, and non collapsing. That means uh, there is a positive constant such that uh, the volume of this ball. I'm sorry, this is should be other side. Non collapsing should be other way. Okay. So, so, so this is a uh, non-collapsing BR of a uh, ball with respect to omega t. The metric omega t is uh, big uh, equal to C R to two n. Two n is a real dimension. Okay, so x is uh, is in the m and r is less equal diameter. Okay, <laughs> certainly r cannot be too big than the diameter. Otherwise, it cannot be true. So, so and uh, moreover, he proved that this uh, u t if you look at the scalar equation on the previous page, and you look at time derivative of this scalar function, uh, this uh, solution, and the uh, ut and the gradient of ut and the Laplace ut are uniform bounded, uniform bounded. Okay, and uh, this he gave, uh, uh, he taught, um, and and uh, um, 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 uh, lectured in, uh, in at MIT when he was visiting MIT, and uh, <coughs> later was. Uh, was written out by uh, other people, so 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 then uh, using uh, again using this new functional W functional, and Ru uh, Gangye and Zhang Qi, and proved a few years later there is a uniform bound on the Sobolev constant of uh, omega t. Okay, so actually this is uh, Perman didn't know this because actually uh, when he was visiting there we we talked uh, something about this uh, this. Uh, Hamilton Tian conjecture, and uh, th since he, he he mentioned that in his paper, so he at that time he he said he didn't know how to get the sublet in the quality. So uh, you you do, do need something to actually, but uh, but uh, but it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a relies on this uh, W function law. It relies a lot on W function, okay? Because that W function will give you some uh, uh, log sublet in the quality, and then there are some uh, means of. Uh, Going from log sublet to sublet. Okay, <laughs> so and uh, moreover, uh, uh, Zhang Qi in the, uh, two years ago proved there's a uniform bound, upper bound. Okay, so not only long collapsing is also long shrinking in the sense, uh, uh, not long collapsing and this long expanding. So this volume cannot go too fast. Cannot go too fast. Okay, so 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 it follows from these things. It follows for any sequence omega t i. For any ti goes to infinity, has a subsequence converting to a length space in the gromo hausdorff topology. So that's in the in the weak topology, in the weak topology. Okay, so then the as a metric space, as a metric space. So so then the essentially the this conjecture I stated before can be re then reduced to a regularity of this. Actually, it should be little more than that. You but uh, but this is a crucial step. Once you have a regularity of that, then you you can also have a have a strong convergence in in the in the regular part. Okay. So <coughs> so so maybe I forgot to say here is a uh, uh, so so this is Gromov Hausdorff topology. I I mentioned it before. It's a Chigar Gromov topology. That means uh, on the smooth part uh, because the limit space could still have singularity, but outside singularity, this. Uh, you can control the, top, uh, the curvature and control things, and uh, so 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 on a on a on a smooth regular part of a limit through a diffeomorphisms, and uh, if you formulate in a proper way, that gives you the Chigar Gromov topology. Okay, <coughs> so <coughs> so two supporting evidence. Actually, there are, uh, I should also mention one is a uh, uh, one-dimensional case, namely on S two. This is certain. This conjecture is true. Okay, so that's uh, in more classical. So, so, so for s uh, some uh, evidence. So, for example, if a Ricci curvature omega t is uniform bounded, then the conjecture holds. 
So this is basically essentially based on a compact theorem of uh, Chiga coding and myself. Okay, and uh, so 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 more substantially, and and Zhu Xiaohua and I proved if M has a canine symmetric, then the omega t converges to canine symmetric. Okay, for example, the S two, we know there's a spherical metric, then the convergence is true there. Okay, so. So, so this was first claimed by Perman, but uh, I guess then he he had no time to write the proof, so so we didn't have any idea how he proved it. Okay, so 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 anyway, so our proof used the energy introduced by Mabushi. Mabushi. So it's something was not uh, technical. We need uh, uh, not quite in uh, in a uh, in a Perman's uh, paper, and but. Uh, it's uh, <coughs> it's quite uh, quite uh, known in uh, quite 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 often used in uh, in uh, in a kind of geometry. Okay. So 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 now we come up with this recent thing. So Zhang Zhen Zhen and I can solve uh, this conjecture for dimension that's equal to three. So I tell you why it's a three here. Okay. Even the dimension one dimension is a two. This is there's something new here. There's something new here. And uh, my theorem with uh, with uh, true covers a uh, lot of parts of uh, not not parts for two dimensional phenomena manifold, but not everything. There are still some exceptional cases which need to be covered by here. So so moreover, so what theorem we proved is uh, if less equal to three, then the m <coughs> omega t converges to a generalized scalar rich solitum. And moreover, we can prove uh, m in M infinity is a normal variety. Okay. So, 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 so the proof is based on following two things. So one thing is, uh, especially in this same paper we 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 have uh, we have now. So first, uh, there's a uniform bound on L4 norm of a Ricci curvature along the normalized Ricci flow. Okay. This is for any dimension. Or this previous only less equal to three for solving a conjecture, but for for this uh, next, this result and next one is uh, is for any dimension, okay. and it's proved by uh, some dedicated computation used uh, uh, Perman's estimate and uh, some extreme bypass. Okay, so that's like in the PGE. So, <coughs> so, so we, and the question is, uh, we still don't know. We have we tried, we have, but uh, we haven't uh, been able to do much. Is uh, is there a uniform bound on the LP norm of Ricci curvature for some p bigger than n? Bigger than n. It I don't know. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, possible, but uh, uh, at least we hope so. Okay, <laughs> hope so. So the second uh, is uh, is the following. It's uh, it's maybe it's a more technical part of this proof. Is uh, if LP norm of uh, Ricci curvature along this uh, flow. Is uniform bounded for some p bigger than n, then for any ti goes to infinity, omega ti converges to a, a contains a subsequent converging to a generalized Taylor-Rich solution, such as m infinity is normal. normal okay. So, so this is a, <coughs> is a, um, so in a sense you prove uh, this conjecture, HT conjecture, uh, by using a by making this assumption here, making this assumption here on the solution of this, on the solution of this, okay. So uh, then uh, clearly you see, uh, since I, in the previous uh, transparency, I said, uh, I know L4 norm is bounded. So that's why for n less equal to three, you get a conjecture, or uh, you get uh, uh, the solution to that conjecture, okay. So, so, so extension of, uh, uh, so maybe I do later. So, so basically, this proof. There are three ingredients in in the proof of this. So one is uh, extend the Chigger coding, and uh, what I did with Chigger coding to uh, to matrix with LP bounded uh, Ricci curvature. But direct con uh, generalization may not be true because uh, there are some warning Bishop Gromov warning comparison theorem. In this LP sense, is uh, is uh, uh, is not quite uh, enough sufficient. And here I should also say uh, in, uh, in this extension, uh, we also used uh, some results of uh, uh, Peter Peterson and uh, Guofang Wang. Okay. So, 
they, so they did some extension of uh, uh, we need to uh, we we used here. <laughs> so 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 we make these assumptions. Okay, so assume that. So this is a uh, uh, first uh, is has nothing to do with the flow. So and uh, <coughs> we just uh, uh, do any sequence of uh, of uh, uh, Riemannian manifolds with uh, with uh, these two conditions. The rich curvature is LP non bounded, and oh sorry, this is I here. Apparently, it's a typo. Okay, <laughs> so and uh, but you need to impose this the uniform non collapsing condition. Uniform non collapsing. So so then uh, then uh, uh, using uh, arguments of Chigger uh, coding, you can uh, <coughs> prove this uh, this m infinity splits into two parts. So one part is a singular, is a is a closed subset of co-dimension is bigger than two, and the other part is a regular part. Okay, and uh, it's only a C1 alpha smooth, and D infinity is uh, induced by C alpha matrix. So, so for some alpha small, okay, positive. So, so this uh, here uh, for this part uh, we also need to use the some this harmonic coordinates uh, estimate for harmonic coordinates was both previously already used by uh, Michael Anderson and uh, maybe Chiga, Michael Anderson, Chiga, and so on uh, before. So, so, so the key part of uh, here is uh, uh, just uh, like uh, imitating what uh, what the Chiga coding did is uh, you want to establish uh, existing tangent cones. Okay, and uh, and this part is just uh, defined uh, as a set of points where the tangent cone is not good enough. And regular part is means tangent cone is good, good enough. Okay, so so and moreover, if uh, this uh, sequence are killer, then uh, by using what I did with uh, Chiga and coding, you can prove uh, S is of co-dimension bigger than four. Four. Okay, you can raise the, you can reduce the size of singular set. So so second part is a regular killer rich flow. So this time you need to use the flow. So previous only used the sequence. So this, if above this is uh, arise from a solution of a rich Keller rich flow, then the by using an extension of a Perelman pseudo locality theorem and the regularity of rich flow, you can prove uh, this regular part is is actually smooth. Uh, when I here I say smooth, it means C infinity smooth, C infinity smooth. So previous only C one alpha. Okay. So. And the G infinity is smooth. It's not only whole, the continuous. <laughs> Furthermore, the GI converges uh, uh, G infinity in the smooth topology, namely the what I said before, the Chiga Como topology. So, so to see a uh, G infinity is a uh, is a Keller Ricci soliton on the R on the regular part. We use the W function of uh, of uh, Perelman. So I so here I tell you why. You expect somehow expect this conjecture. Of course, actually, we 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 thought of this conjecture because of uh, not we that time we uh, when we actually didn't have a paramount thing. Okay, it's uh, based on some other reasons. But uh, but this now is uh, there's a will for to see to prove that now. So so for any kind of metric omega and. Uh, with these things again, is this uh, I I confine myself to uh, to this particular case, which is not absolutely necessary. Okay, so <coughs> so giving any kind of metric and the function, you define this uh, functional. This is a volume form, and uh, let f solve this uh, f and this uh, backward uh, parabolic equation. Okay, and uh, now passing here and the gradient here are 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 given by uh, the omega t, okay, by by omega t here. So it's a Laplace is a time changing Laplace, time changing Laplace. So then you do a direct computation, you will find uh, find uh, uh, direct computation and uh, express in this Keller case. This uh, derivative of W function along the Keller Ricci flow, together with this uh, f t, is given by this. So uh, in particular, it's a monotonic decrease uh, increase, okay. So, so this f is this function, and u is this derivative of a potential. So I said here, this uh, this uh, 
So, so this reduces the scalar equation. In order to prove this, this reduces the scalar equation. D phi dt equal to log of uh, omega zero n and minus h zero plus uh, phi. Okay, and the u is uh, where the u is simply a d phi dt. D phi dt. Okay. Actually, um, yeah, okay, it's probably shifting a constant. So, <coughs> so, 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 so then uh, you see uh, u minus this. This is a d d bar derivative of that, and this is a purely holomorphic derivative. Okay. So, so this implies uh, this is a monotonic increase. Actually, you can also prove this is bounded from above. Okay. So, so since this is bounded from above, that means this integral, at least in the L2 sense, goes to zero. Goes to uh, zero. So, so this goes to zero means what? See, suppose in the limit. So, so this in uh, w if a w functional, you can if you can prove w functional is bounded from above, and the monotonicity tells you this uh, derivative in the L two sense goes to zero, in the STI goes to infinity. Then the what you get is uh, in the limit you get this is. Uh, Go to zero, and uh, so this last second one is based on dd bar of f u minus f is zero. Okay, and uh, and uh, and uh, this uh <coughs> this tells you this is uh, equivalent to say zero one part of d bar f is zero. So 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 that imply equivalent to say uh, the if you raise use a metric raise this this defined to be a vector field. Is holomorphic. Holomorphic, and uh, and this tells you, u is basically f, maybe modular constant, is which doesn't matter. Okay, so so on the other hand, uh, if you look at this equation, you compute the Ricci curvature. You compute uh, this. This is uh, imply there's a Ricci in the limit. Actually, this for any t minus omega t. Is equal to uh, u t. Okay, so 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 then you let t t i goes to infinity, let t i goes to infinity, and uh, and in the limit, and uh, you you expect this equation is preserved in some sense at least uh, at the smooth part. Of this is uh, so then uh, in the limit, u e equal to f, and uh, purely holomorphic derivative of f is zero. So, so then this becomes in the limit. This becomes a uh, Hessian. So that's exactly a shrinking solitary equation. Okay, shrinking solitary equation. So that's explain to you why in the limit you you get a calorie solitary. Okay. <coughs> so the third in ingredient is uh, is try to prove this. Uh, the space in the limit is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, uh, it's a normal variety. Normal varieties. Okay, so so namely, I so right now by uh, this Chigger coding and uh, what I did with Chigger coding is a uh, m infinity right now is a uh, is a uh, smooth outs on on outside s. And the co-dimension of S, which is a closed set, is a bigger equal to four. But uh, but I don't know the structure of this uh, along the S, and uh, even I don't know whether S is a is a nice set. It's nice set. Okay. So so these things, this uh, I need a further regularity, which tells you uh, this uh, S is a sub variety and M infinity is a variety. It's a variety. So, for example, locally defined by S zero for polymorphic function. So, 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 as I said, uh, point a uh, long time before, a uh, long while ago, this is a uh, this is a uh, follows from so called partial C zero estimate, and we need to adapt that. The partial C zero estimate was original pro 
proposed for for Keller metric with the ratio coverage bounded from below by some positive constant, and it was established for Keller Einstein metrics and or conic Keller Einstein metrics. So, but uh, we need a version of that for 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 uh, for, uh, for uh, Keller ratio flow. Okay, and uh, it and uh, actually it's a, it's a, it's a it's a it's straightforward in a, in a extension. So, so so by Kodaira, I still have this right. So I. Now I back a little bit, try to tell you what the partial serial estimate is in last five minutes. So for any T positive along the flow, we choose the Hermitian metric on this line bundle whose curvature is omega T, omega T, okay? Actually, I should say curvature here is, curvature is air omega T, okay, air omega T, okay? So or here is K minus one here. I think originally I said it's K minus one. So yesterday evening after dinner, I change it back to minus here. I think I made the wrong change. So, so, so then we have uh, induced the uh, inner product on this by using this commission metric and the metric, um, metric on the underlying space. So let uh, this to be uh, an orthonormal basis with respect to this inner product and uh, define this. Kay. So this is like a pointwise version of a Riemann Rock theorem because if you integrate this, that exactly gives you a dimension of a cohomology. So the partial serial estimate says uh, there are CK, which is independent of T, such that, uh, such that uh, for, s for a sufficient large air, and uh, this is, uh, this is uh, true, okay, bounded from below, bounded from below, <coughs> this uh, function, previous function. So, so actually, this, uh, there you, you can is, uh, uh, state this uh, I I uh, in an equivalent way, namely, uh, namely you can say, uh, uh, for for any point, there is a section of this guy, uh, such that error to norm of that section with respect to this commission metric is one, and uh, yet this section, the value of this section, the norm of this section at that given point is bounded from below by some constant related to this C L here. Okay, so so in fact this are already formulated more than twenty years ago. Okay, this this uh, formulation at twenty years ago. I right now I just apply this directly to a to Kettlerichi flow. Okay. So, so this can be proved by similar arguments in the proof of partial serial estimate for Kettlerichi Einstein metrics, as uh, we did before. So once we establish a corresponding analytic tools, so that's is uh, because previously those analytic tools are used uh, based on the non-negative, based on the fact that Ricci coverage is not positive. Oh, uh, sorry, Ricci coverage is bounded from below. Okay, so. Is is bounded from below by some positive constant. So here we say uh, this a gradient estimate and error to estimate for deep operator. So so basically gradient estimate means uh, photo. Okay. And uh, so so this time our flow, the rich curvature is minus this equal to this, and uh, it's not bounded from below because uh, there's a function here, but this function as Perman proved is bounded, and uh, has a bounded gradient. So that's the two condition we need to use. Then, then this seems to be a. I mean, it's not seems to. It is uh, just the uh, same as uh, in the case when the rich coach bounds from below. So you can get uh, using a sublet uh, uh, inequality I said before. You can get this gradient estimate. So you can also have error to estimate. In a, a classically, error to estimate is uh, it also requires some low bound of rich curvature. And we have to modify this. It turns out modification is not difficult either, at least for air sufficiently big. Namely, you take into account of this. And uh, again, use the paramount thing. So you have an uh, error to estimate for, for this case. And with these two, you can, you can follow the exactly same arguments for, for, for proving, a, for proving a, a partial serial estimate for k Einstein metrics to establish uh, things here. So so then uh, <laughs> and then we can uh, so basically what this is what we do is uh, for any x in the m infinity, we sorry I dropped that. Uh, so we can transform a constant function on the tangent cone at x to a to a section here whose norm is bounded uniform from below. So so this leads to partial serial then uh, then uh, it's actually written 
in the thesis of Chi Li. She was the M infinity phenomenal type. So, so, so this is the argument is not that difficult. It's basically, basically the application of uh, Skoda's uh, estimate. Um, so anyway, I think I stop here. Thank you. So any question? Yeah, I'd, li I'd like to ask a question. So you mentioned yeah. at some point that the argument of minimizing sequences versus flow. Yes. So to what extent is the flow needed to prove existence? Uh, flow, uh, flow implies existence. Is in general, you don't have existence. Yes. But flow tells you uh, you have a closely related manifold and a space which has a Kettler-Ritchie particle. Okay. Okay. So, so, so that's the best you can get. I see. Okay. So in order to get the uh, Kettler Einstein metric on original space, you need to uh, impose some algebraic condition, and that condition can be easily checked. Can be checked. I see. So, so, so in this case, you I said the case stability is one thing, but you uh, once you have a Kettler particle, you have a space. It's much easier to check this one. So more question. So, uh, how key stability related to when you go to the limit? So, how you it does not need that at all. So, here we don't need the case stability. So, case stability, as I said before, is uh, is uh, um, so this whole problem of uh, extracting Kenner Einstein matrix is uh, is a variational problem. So, 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 if that's a functional is proper, then you have a existence. So case stability simply is uh, the properties of that functional restrict some finite dynamical space. And the partial zero establishes that connection. So 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 here has nothing to do with that case. 